So 2015 was a very winning year for Maxis. We uh, grew in revenues, we grew in profit, we also won market shares. The performance was driven by high growth in prepaid and also very strong postpaid. So in 2015 we grew by uh, 3.8%. That uh, high service revenue growth was driven by very high growth in prepaid with 6.2%. That growth in prepaid is driven by many more people using data, our great data services, and also our higher share of the migrant market. Also, postpay was very solid with a growth of 2.7%, driven again by data and by the fact that we have 633,000 customers now using our Maxis One plan. Uh, Q4 was also good for Maxis uh, with a 3.2% growth from Q4 last year. And when it comes to the network underlying this, we are just super committed to deliver the best customer experience. So naturally, our network is critical for customers to have the best experience. We have an intense focus of providing the best data network. Our 4G LTE network has doubled to over 70% of population coverage. That's 7 out of 10 Malaysians, making us number one in 4G LTE. In 2015, we spent 1.3 billion ringgits in network and IT infrastructures. And we are very happy that we have been rewarded with happier customers now. We actually, in fact, have the highest customer satisfaction ever recorded. And we are transforming our channels as well. Just last year, we modernized most of our stores. They look stunning and can give a great customer experience. We also have revamped our digital channels. Uh, our postpaid app, the MyMaxis app, has now reached over 600,000 customers. And over a million people have downloaded our Hotlink Red app to enjoy a great experience to uh, maintain the relationship with us through an app. We had fantastic product innovations like Serolution, an industry first and a breakthrough smartphone ownership program. This program allows Maxis One customers to own a brand new phone every year without any upfront payment. Amazing. So the winning Maxis in 2015 is the result of many, many changes. But it's driven by an obsession with the unmatched customer experience and to have the best network. So the first phase in our transformation to become a high-performing mobile operator is more or less done. We're now entering into the second phase of our transformation which is to become the preferred choice for digital experience seekers. And I'm truly positive to how we can add more values to individuals and homes and organizations. And I'm just positive to what's next.